Hi, I'm going to recover or rewrap these two drums in a beautiful red onyx finish. And before I start that process, I just wanted to show the drums in their original state. So on the right here, I have a pearl export in a black gloss. Uh, same series of drums here on the left uh, in a burgundy color. All the lugs will be coming out. Of course, the heads and rims will be coming off. And then I'm going to proceed to rip off the original wrap on both of the drums. And more about that will be coming up. So here we go down the seam. And it looks like they only have used glue on the seam, which would be very, very good news for us. And I, with the pressure I'm putting at it, make sure the blade goes away from your body if you're doing this. There we go. Sometimes it snaps. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to use my fingers now. Look at that. That's great. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Just as I suggested, there'll be one more piece of cement. It's probably the same glue, maybe not. And there you go. Okay, same thing again. We're going to get our knife underneath it. It's the same contact cement. This, if it's easy, I'll be able to just peel it. Yeah, look at that. It's just peeling it. It's the easiest thing. Just peeling it. No, no tears, nothing. So both of these drums, easy as anything. This won't tear off around the eyelet, and there's only one thing to do, which is for me to cut it and to get rid of this. Um, and we're going to deal with the eyelet separately. All right, folks, so here's how we're going to do it. It's not easy. But this is the procedure. We might be there, kids. We might be there. This might just pop out. Let's see. So like so. Close now. We're really close, but... Okay, the deal here is done. A nice little turn like this with your screwdriver and put leave that little piece of... Uh... There you go. Goodbye. Goodbye, old one. Okay. So here we have everything that we need to rewrap these two drum shells. We have the two shells themselves with their factory wrap removed, and I have cleaned the surface of each of any further dust or residue. Here we have two beautiful pieces of red onyx wrap uh, cut to size at Precision Drum Company in New York and each has its protective plastic film still on. It's yet to show us the beautiful shiny finish of Red Onyx. Here we have our low odor and water-based contact cement, which I prefer to use uh, because it is less likely at any stage to react with uh, the wrap, which would discolor or perhaps uh, expand it like a small bubble. Um, and next we have our foam brush, which enables me to put a very, very smooth stroke of adhesive on the two surfaces. And finally, just some straps, um, tension straps, and I will be explaining what those do in the next stage. Okay, so let's apply the adhesive to the shell and to the piece of wrap for the 13 inch Tom. First thing I'm going to do is apply adhesive to the shell because this shell is more absorbent than its counterpart, the piece of wrap. There we go. Let's put her in. Um, I can already see it getting soaked up. You'll notice that I've taped this shell and I've taped it on the inside so that as I pass by with the glue, um, it, it would drip through and it would just leave the inside part of the shell. The inside part of the shell would have drips, you see? Uh, 
Now it's time to wrap. Sorry to uh, apply adhesive to the wrap. Before I do, I put one piece of painter's tape there and I'll be explaining that when we're in a less of a critical kind of uh, timing. So now I press my timer. The other two drums are at the 30, uh, sorry, the other wrap and drum is at the 30 minute mark. It's 30 minutes ahead. Okay. So I do like to pour the stuff where possible. straight down the line there. I'd, I'd say these edges for me personally are very important to get a nice even line down the edge like we're doing right now. There you go. That's looking uh, evenly white and then we're just going to apply pressure to this. Okay, that's it. That guy's gonna sit there and will not move. Right, see you shortly. Well, here I go, folks. I'm gonna give it my best shot. I've made my pencil markings there, and uh, there's no time like the present. You gotta eyeball it. Oh, there you go. I mean, once you're in, there's no, you can't go back. Now, I'm beginning to apply pressure and trying to notice if it goes off. Let's just go down to here. One, two, three. It's, it's cemented. I couldn't get it off if I tried. So let's go to the very, this guy here and push. Push, push, push. We really gotta hope that it's, I've done it straight along that line there. How we look in here. It's good, folks, it's good, it's good, it's good. You're gonna have to. And there you go. Well, it's perfect. I mean, I'm not worried about that at all. It. Okay, so got my um, fasteners here. I'm gonna be pulling it. Yeah, you gotta get it the right way. I'm gonna be pulling it like so. <sighs> Absolutely fantastic job, if I say so myself. Tighten my fasteners in. They're very tight. Approval, and then that guy's like that. Now, that's it. That was the wrap. That's how quick it is. The next step is to stick down what we will call the seam. We've got to find the plastic film and remove it. We got to get it and remove it up. So I got my little poker thing here. Let's see if it'll grab it. And once I've grabbed it like that, it should be really easy because I'll just use needle nose pliers. It's uh, so I was able to find it there. Get it. And here we go. Needle nose pliers are going in ensuring that I don't bend. Now there we go, we got that one. So that is the plastic film. See if we can get it on the other side. Next thing we want to do is very precisely put our marks. Now the thing about these marks is we try to do them as small as possible, but remember the drum head's going to cover them. I'm resting my knife on the very, the perfect straight edge. I put a little mark in there. One side, resting my knife on this one. To there. I'm just moving it back until I see the little marker. There's that marker there on that side. Just through the, in the light, the marker is there on that side. We need to see that mark there. 
There she goes. One. Now I just need to see this one. There's a bit of a bubble there, and let's just see. It should. We're all protected against adhesive now, which is going to go on this flap, but also on the piece directly underneath it. Okay, so here we go. Let's get some. Hopefully it comes up. Let's just there you go. Oh, look at that, eh? Lovely. It comes up, but of course it just. I'm just finessing it. Why well, is this what I do anyway? Keep sucking like this. And I've got really I've got five milliliters already. So as I said, if I pull up too much, I will bend this thing. That's not the end of the world. Here we go. Let's layer. Let's get there. She goes it's going real nicely now. Really nicely. That's beautiful. Just at the end, you want this where you don't want to push your brush down there. Oh, look at that. And okay, so that's it. Now I got my brush. You can find it all in there. Move it around. Brushing. We're going to brush one side, push it down. There you go. I'm going right up to the, the uh, painter's tape there. Perfect. The goal here is a manufacturer's quality seam. Now, the idea is to push down. Oh, there's our excess coming through. A bit of excess is a good sign. Like this, now we're going to turn it over and ensure that this side is nicely painted on. It is nice, worked out well. Turn it over and let's see what we got. Nice. Okay, so I need to brush it here because I applied pressure. That's good. We want to encourage it to come downwards. So that guy's going there like that with a nice drawing, drawing the stuff downwards. This guy was. We're going to put you like this. I hope you can see that with. So I'll catch up with you for the next step. Clamping down the seam and then leaving it for 24 hours. What we want to do is to just get this edge. Because if I clamp it down with that edge right there, Okay, yeah, Let's, this guy just needs to sit like this, do that, and just do that. That's what you want for now. Okay, so next move. We have slightly stronger clamps. Let's just get this to roll towards me. Right, as I said earlier, Oversized for the piece of wrap, undersized to the shell. Yep. Hope you can see what's going on. You know, I'm not too much in your way. What I like to do next is to return this just in a sort of a, just step by step, so millimeter by millimeter going forward like that. I'm going to just put just an ordinary belt um, uh, here down the center. So I should be able to do that without any much fear. Just maybe not, as you can see. 
think you do. You're not gonna. You don't want in the end. Okay, let's go with that. That's really that's really working. That's just a beauty. Okay. No.